In this Sons of the Forest tutorial I will show you how to get all the guns, so the handgun, the shotgun and the magnum. We will also grab the stun gun on the way since it's conveniently there. While the handgun is pretty easy to obtain, the shotgun and the magnum both require a bunch and I mean a bunch of different tools. So we will go over how to get these tools as well. Considering how overpowered the shotgun especially right now is, it's a good thing to have in your playthrough but without further ado let's get straight into it for the gun you have to find this specific beach where you can see this exclamation mark on your gps in the water this is basically a life bow of sorts there is no difficulty to get there actually the m worst difficulty is to face your fear to go into the water i have to admit my first playthrough around i was too scared especially considering there aren't any boats but the water is completely safe, you can just swim stay there. There are some teasers about sharks jumping here and there, but until you have actually reached the boat, there shouldn't be any danger, at the very least, if you just straight swim there. Once you reach the boat, the before mentioned shark will spawn, but you will also find, well, the handgun inside of here after this cutscene here plays out a few players and there it is, the gun and yeah, it should go without saying it is recommended to get rid of the shark before you go back to the beach. Now to explain the actual problem, in order for us to get the other weapons we need to dig in the overworld with the shovel and we need other materials to get the shovel. This is a cave that is nearby that beach, you will see with the cave marker, so let's get in. By the way, if you knock off these barricades, mutants start spawning in this area, so be considerate when you do stuff like that. But yeah, in this cave right here, we will find the rope gun, which is one of the first important tools you will find in this game. The caves in general are pretty linear-ish in this version of the game. So in the release version that is, if you watch this a little bit later, it might have changed altogether, but yeah. In general, the caves are pretty linear. It's very straightforward in which caves you have to go and then you get the tools of that cave and then you need to get into the new cave to get more tools of that cave. It's a very linear progression right now. So yeah, we are in here in a big room. There are a bunch of cave dwellers in here that can overwhelm you quite quickly. We also picked up the cross which is a funny little AI tool which you can use this sometimes to fend off enemies, it depends on the enemy most of the time, if it works or not. For example, you know, some people are more religious than others and then they are pacified, others don't give a shit about it. It also sometimes works on mutants. It's just a weird AI object, so here we reached a point where... There should be an explosive here, yeah exactly, because there is a sluggy in the wall, this is honestly, unironically one of, fuck off, this is, this is, um, funny part, because, yeah, yeah, you just nuke mutants, instead of nuking rocks, you're nuking mutants, and I find that absolutely hilarious, well, we're moving on, just it's pretty straightforward but there are a lot of enemies for example right here should be finger mutants as well you know the ones with the billion fingers in general they are not so tough if you want an advice more or less to deal with them in general explosives are re yeah there's one they're really really strong against enemies right now like even the mutants unlike in the forest the mutants and sons of the forest are pretty tame but they're on mass okay here are also babies and i think we also saw twins over there the one that is conjointed on and yes but yeah you just keep going there should be multiple paths here and you should take the right one, I'm pretty sure. 
Oh no, it's just straight going forward. But yeah, basically the mutant population is pretty large. But overall, they're more like another enemy type of soldier rather than this big unit in this game. So there's that. I'm not the biggest fan of that, but yeah. So we're going in another big room with a bunch of these cave dwellers. We're just gonna move on. There's the light. We're gonna just go with the light. There should also be more babies if we move past this point. There they are. As you can see, I'm just mostly ignoring them and for the most part it's fine. You can just skim through this. But you know, if you want the weapons as quick as possible, you can just easily do that. Yeah, this was a bit of a pass thingy. Now if we go here on... The left, we will have two choices. We need to go to the left again. It wasn't right where it was in another cave. I'm sorry. Yeah, you see these stalactites hanging from the ceiling, these weird things. That means you're in the good track. Now, here's the hole you need to crouch through. Now, there's another water hole section with a bunch of babies, and there should also be fingers nearby. They, they roam around a little bit in this game, the mutants, so sometimes you just don't face them how I do because they actually move around in the cave system. And yeah, there you have it. There is the uh, rope gun. There you have it. And yeah, fingers is interrupting me. There's a that thing. I got pushed down there. You can just, you know, use the rope gun there. Yeah, there are also twins. You can just use the rope there, but honestly, I just got knocked down and it didn't really make a difference. You land here anyways. It's just that I took a bit of damage there. But yeah, you just follow this path now and it should lead back outside. And with that, you have the first cave done that is necessary to acquire all the tool items. Okay, next up, very important, is this beach cave right here, because in that is the rebreather. Basically, how to get to this cave is, you have the one beach with the exclamation mark, which you now had the life bow. You go further right, there should also be an exclamation mark at like a hillish area, and you go further, further right, basically. This is also, by the way, if your helicopter crashes on in the water at the beach, this cave is right next to it. It's straight right next to he your helicopter. So yeah, we're going inside here. As always, there's a little bit of loot there. Now in this cave, there's also the stun gun, which I will also grab. I personally don't really consider it part of the ballistic guns but i mean it is a gun as well so yeah oh yeah um puff corp earning over zero therapeutics a bit of law item right here but yeah let's move on there should be some cave dwellers a bunch of bats actually yeah that's the classic the forest bat jump scare but yeah there should be a cave dwellers but also fingers in here and also some babies a bit further in yeah, there's this ledge and there it begins them roaming around. But yeah, they, as mentioned before, they have an actual cycle. Like, they move around the caves quite a lot. We're going right here first for the stun gun. Very important thing. Very important. I mean, not really important because the stun gun is... It's just a stun gun with charges. You can also stun mutants with it, so it's useful for that. And, you know, enemies react to that in interesting ways sometimes. If, you know, you stun a tribe guy and he, he all of a sudden gets panicked. There was one 
fingers that just vomited. Honestly, kind of like that because they feel like brother homies. Because, you know, vomit sausage cuts first. Lul. But that's besides the point. You just move in here, right? Right, right, right. Here are some more babies. And there should be the stun gun at the end of this. Yeah, you see this reddish already? There it is, the stun gun just hanging there. And there is also a teaser for the bunker where there will be the sluggy just, you know, moving in, which is a small story teaser. But yeah, there we have the gun. Now we move all the way back and then move into another direction. And yeah, I cannot aim with this thing for some reason. You have to just... This gun is basically a lot hit scan rather than projectile. So you don't have to really aim in advance. You, you know how with arrows and bows you have to also anticipate how they would move because it's a projectile. This gun is nothing. It's pretty much straight hit scan. And I still start suck aiming with it. Don't ask me why. But yeah, we're moving all the way back. And there was a way where we could go to the left, I believe. Like, it's, it's a bit disorientating, but it's also straightforward. Does that make sense? It's not as... Yeah, here again. It's, it's simply hit scan, but I was... You know, thinking that he would move into the other direction. So I'm just fucking stupid. But yeah, now we go this direction. We went in there, we went to the right. Remember? All this way. Now we go to the left, there should be also a bit of swimming equipment right here. Which, I mean, it teases the rebreather like nothing else. We move further in and further in. You also see this cave is a lot less populated than the other one. So, that's good. We go here right-ish, and there should be this drop right here with a big, big water hole, excuse me, a big water hole, and there should be the rebreather where that flashlight is shining, right here. And there you have it. And now, yeah, the rebreather animation, does, that's a bit weird, but yeah, basically... That's the cave for you. I think there's also like a lore item that I missed. But yeah, this is basically this cave done. And now we have both the rebreather and the rope gun. Which we will need in our next cave. Where we will finally acquire the shovel. So yeah, we're gonna swim through this. I tried here to put away my lighter. But it was a bit buggy. But yeah. Just swim through this narrow hallway, and then you should resurface on the surface. Okay, this right here is the cave in question. You already see these three people. Uh, yeah, there's the muddy just running around. But yeah, you see these two exclamation marks right here facing. To the right was the beach cave. To the left, this beach was the one with the bow. Yeah, basically that's where we are. Behind us more or less is the helicopter if you start in the winter area. There's a slingshot and yeah. This is the important cave. Again, this cave, you need both the rebreather and the rope gun to progress. So you need to do both caves that we just did before this one. The other two caves, obviously, no matter which, you know, how, if you do the one first or the other one. But yeah, already here, you need the rope gun to swing yourself over here. Already starting. Now we are over here. And this is a big room where there's basically nothing except this water bit right here. There you can go back out if you don't have the rebreather yet, that is. But yeah, we do have the rebreather now so we can go in here and dive here for a bit. 
Yeah, there is the big, narrow rock structure thingy, which reminds me a lot of the rock structure in the sinkhole in the first forest that was also very narrow. But yeah, here you should resurface. Now in this cave right here, there are a lot of not only cave dwellers, but also mutants. So we go out here. I mean, I unequip it just for the sake of it. And yeah, there should be some cave dwellers roaming around here. Yeah, there is one. We're just gonna pass them. And there should be a sliding. Yeah, slide! Would you consider this a story sequence? But because it's kind of is a cutscene. But yeah, you see yourself is here in that water where we just landed. There's nothing, so don't worry about it. And over there, we will continue our path. Some luggage boxes again. Again, also the cave systems right now in this release version are very linear, and there aren't any more caves than this. Which you see in this video, like only some small case supply thingies. But yeah, I hope they add a lot more during the early access phase because I feel otherwise that would be a bit wasted potential option, obviously. Okay, we are moving on here, holding to the right. There should be a, yeah, a really, really big room where there can be multiple mutants running around. Fingers and twins. Hold ourselves left-ish, because there is another passageway. Now normally, like here they saw us, but normally if you are smart, they won't even really know that you're here, because they roam around in such a big room. So we will continue this path right here. And yeah, there's another water hole. Now, theoretically, I don't think you need the rebreather for this, but you have the rebreather anyway, so you equip it anyways. Resurface right here. Should be a way leading down ish. Yeah, vomiting again. Much of other people here and there. You can already see it. Another bunker teaser over there. We're moving towards it. There's also twins in the room, always chilling. Like over here, there. And yeah, this is basically the bunker teaser of the bunker teasers. And yeah, I'm getting attacked. But yeah, there's the shovel. And with that, we have that important item as well. And pretty much every item that we need for this game. I mean, there are key cards that we will have acquire uh, later, but especially for the guns, you can't go down there by the way for some reason, but yeah, for the gun, now we finally have all the items with that shovel. Well, now how to get out of here, there's another sluggy in the wall. Behind me is the water pit where we slid down. Obviously, you can't go back up, so we need to go this way, but yeah. We nuke him. Remember that in case you don't have any explosives crafted, just hand grenades or stuff like that, that will do, that you find in the cases most of the time. So yeah, some babies over here, but this should be very straightforward, just another exit area. And with that, we have the shovel and can finally start digging for the good guns, for the good weapons. So yeah. Just follow this path. Again, more babies trying to stop you, lol. And yeah. Now yeah, drop down right here. And there's the exit, which should be right next to the entrance where we came into. Now to actually finally get more weapons. First up, the shotgun. It's this stick side. You know how I've mentioned for a while this exclamation mark that you can find on your GPS on that half island. You know, it's very middle-ish of that section. Yeah, it's right here. 
it's right here in one of the cross areas so you know from that island section that's rather isolated to the right would be the beach cave to the left would be the bow it's right there and i mean to be fair just by you know just by looking at the gps it's very easy to find so yeah there's a shotgun and with that we can kill a lot of shit very very fast and you have even have decent ammo for it so quite OP right now <laughs> now if we move further and further and further on the map towards the right so to our left right now or west I guess you could say where all the other stuff there was the cave there was the boat and so on you will find this wing area which is you know an open area with some golf cars where we can dig straight down there and there will be a bunker in here that we dig up and in that will be the magnum so yeah honestly also very self-explanatory it's just digging again just with the shotgun you don't have to do anything too complicated but find the shovel so yeah let's get into up yeah let's test out the shotgun come on here with that creepy armor yeah that's what i thought and we skin pouch. Another one! Yeah, shotgun a bit OP. <laughs> a little bit OP. But yeah, let's keep on digging until we have the bunker open and yeah. Then I will show you the inside. So yeah. Basically, we open this. That's maintenance C for reference. And as I said before, it's just straightforward. You open it. You go in, and in one of the rooms will just be the magnum. I mean, it's called revolver, but it's a fucking magnum, okay? So, yeah. Was this me? Going down this hallway a little bit. Now, this is a bunker that's not really built, unlike other ones. And there you have it, right next to the guy. There you have it, and with that you have all the guns in the game that there are yet right now. I hope you found this guide helpful and you can now assert dominance over the cannibals and mutants. If you did, it would make me very happy if you give this video a thumbs up. I will continue making videos like this about Sons of the Forest, so consider subscribing and following my Twitch channel, link in the description, where I will start streaming the game this week, if you like to stick around, that is, obviously. But other than that, have a great rest of your day and take care everyone. Bye bye